So I have turned on my recording for this game. You know, it is near the end of the season, and so some weird fights are coming out. But I had that really good fight with Harmon that I didn't record, and I really regretted yes, it. So I figured I would go ahead and record this match. Now, this match here is against Zins. It is his counterattack on Oceana, and the battle is still Valley. Now, I don't remember if it was Zins or someone else that Advancing. I fought last time I um, on this map, and I did quite well for myself because he had not, he didn't have a perfect uh, group of mechs with him. He had the victor. I think it was Zins. But uh, then he had the, the king crab that got a, an AC 20 headshot and just died instantly. Roger. And that was really sad for him. So. Um, this time around, since this is a... It, there's only one fight going on here. Because there's only one fight going on, I have decided, since I, I don't have a catapult, which I really appreciate, um, especially in these, in these Inner Sphere Wars matches where you can only have two bulwark pilots, I really like the catapult because it gives you a jumper so you don't have to have a bulwark pilot on it. Um, and I know he has grasshoppers and he wants to do that grasshopper strategy on me. But what I have done, like I say, so because, since it's the end of the season is in a week, um, and because I knew I, I could have brought my own um, grasshopper with arc light, but I just, I'm still learning I'm here. the mechanics of how to, um, how to run those jumpers. And I just figured it was a good idea, or it was a better idea, to, um... Spring. He might get some tips. Because I need to get... Rolling. So, uh, sorry, as I was saying, um... Standing by. I, as I learned from my previous recording of a match with him, I could be in a pretty... I could find myself in a pretty dangerous spot as long as he's running that arc light grasshopper that moves in initiative phase 3, and I'm not, if he just learns how to manipulate the crab out of initiative. And so, as a result, what I'm doing is... Since I didn't want to compete with him with a jumping grasshopper, I'm just not as good at that. I decided to let him go ahead and do it, and I'm going to run four assault mechs. And what this means is I will always, always Commander? get the first assault mech move. As long as that grasshopper's alive, there's nothing he can do about it. And there's his arc light grasshopper. So, um, in order to do this, I have to run Kraken and a Highlander, which will be doing a lot of jumping. And Kraken is also my answer to this Grasshopper. And I'm also running Apex in an awesome 8T, which, as I explained in my previous video, his Grasshopper can kill my awesome, and there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, I've been sensor locked! Okay. But, aye, aye. Do I get a straight line of fire? I do. Oh, but it's not close enough. I do. Yeah, those are some nasty chances. Standing by. Let's. Ooh, interesting. Well, Buckshot hey. is still up here. And has not been sensor locked, so we do need to keep moving our atlas forward. Moving also, this is using uh, patch 1.1, which means we have um, drastically increased, increased stability for assault mechs. Um, the old numbers was 100 stability for every mech. Now it is a, uh, 140 or 130 for mediums, 160 for heavies, and 200 for assaults. So, as I learned in my battle against Harmon, it is almost impossible to knock over an assault mech now. And so knockdown strategies, which the catapult is very good at, are not as valuable anymore. And honestly, it means since I can't knock over that grasshopper, it's pretty brutal. 
However, I'm actually kind of confident that I can, I can load a bit of damage onto him now, and I can get Buckshot into a, uh, a braced position forward. Okay, so there, that is his apex, probably Highlander P. Oh crap! Copy that. Ah. That is bullshit. I was gonna hit I was gonna hit his freaking grasshopper with a bunch of LRMs. Guys, I'm sorry, guys who make Battletech, that is bullshit. Why do you make that button pop up and why would a right click affect it? So that's not turning out very well. I've already got a head hit on my crab can grab, and I lost my chance to sensor lock and then LRM is Grasshopper. Oh, I think Zins might have uh, chosen not to attack with one of his mechs. Well, this leaves me in an odd spot, so Mockingbird can no longer move. What? No! Reading you. For now, I'm just gonna have to one sensor locking that Not grasshopper. And move forward in order to get a sensor lock on whatever his apex mech is. Oh look at that. The missile hit did two damage. Mockingbird. I should have Mockingbird turn to the side after this. So that the head is hard to hit. Actually, I don't know, the head might always be a 1% chance. That might not actually change. Now you see he does have a pretty nasty advantage over me. Right now. Sight. And what do we have? It's a Highlander. Tempting, but no. Oh, I always forget that. I should be turning my side because my left torso is one with all the ammo in it. Anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, I do run the disadvantage that he always get. I always have to do the, the first assault mech move. So once my assault mechs are closer up, I get to move first, but until then, he always gets the last move. Or he basically always gets the last move. No matter what he does. Or, I guess how does that work? No, okay, so if he moves his, if he moves arc light first, then I get the last move. But if he does not... If he does not move first, so he's running a pair of Highlanders. Real quick, let me check what he had here. He, that's interesting. So guys, I just tabbed out to check the mechs. Receiving you. And he does not have a, uh, he does not have two Highlander Ps. That means that mech over on the right is something else. The one with Apex in it. Uh, I really want to know what that mech is. It has Apex in it. 
It's an awesome 8Q. Oh, okay, so he was only firing one, so he's playing the multi-target people see me all day long. That's why he got two sensor locks. Well, that's interesting, though, because the, the awesome 8Q actually has a pretty low damage output. Like, I was really curious to see what it was, but I, I probably should have sensor locked the grasshopper and just gone for some missile damage on it. Well, even though it's low damage output, he does have breaching shots all day long. So I definitely need to start whacking on him. And he did not multi-target. Hmm. Commander. Yeah, there we go. Copy that. Now we can start to lay out some damage. And if this were 1.0, oh, nice headshot. If this were 1.0, that would have been twice as much stability damage. So if this was 1.0, he would already be in danger of a knockdown. Oh, crap. This is just the game of head hits, isn't it? This is the game of head hits all day long. Ready for orders. But I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna get right in there and Here we're we gonna go. start whacking on this. Awesome. in all weapon systems. <laughs> so funny story. The other day I was tapping. You can type the, the word damn and it what it doesn't redact it in your chat. But if you type the word pissed, it redacts it. <laughs> Apparently that's a worse word. <laughs> now the the Awesome is a very interesting mech, uh, the 8Q. I've been paying more attention to it recently because, um, you know, in MechWarrior games, I love it because it's got the three PPCs. Um, it has a very effective sniping ability because, obviously, in MechWarrior, you deal damage to a single body part at once. So it's a ton of damage in one, focused in one spot. In the tabletop, where the shots are spread up, I learned I really don't like it as much, considering its damage potential is 150, you know, 50 per PPC. It always feels like it misses one of the PPCs, so it's really 100, but, you know, its damage potential is 150, whereas some of these other mechs, I mean, you know, the 8Q, or the 8T, its damage potential is 120. Its damage potential is 200, and a lot of that is missiles that can go over obstacles. Ooh, seeing if you can get out of vision. Well, guess what? You are in a forest, which means... I might actually be able to knock you down this time. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, so the 8Q, it has a very low damage potential for an assault mech. However, with that said... Awaiting orders. Um, it has low damage potential for an assault, but with that said... <laughs> um, Taking the shot. It also, it's, it's like the only assault that doesn't have ammo that can explode. So it is pretty uh, hard to kill for that reason. Yeah, I'll probably get a... I might be able to get a knockdown, I'm not sure. So he's going to want to pile damage onto my Highlander as much as he can, which means I have a chance to sprint forward with Mockingbird. Uh. Okay, so he's going to... Oh, he's probably going to sensor lock the Highlander. And then he will get two... Two mechs will get to missile it without any evasive pips, which is frustrating. Yes, Commander. Order well, like I say, I, I do get to move up, and Apex can't really get out of there. Well, my mech kinda can. Come on, 
on stability damage. Oh, it's not going to be enough. And of course he's showing me his left arm, which doesn't do anything. There's nothing on the left arm. Should be paying attention to this Highlander. So one thing about Highlander P's is you can't really show them your side. Well, I guess you could show them your right side. Okay, yeah. It's just like your left side has all the ammo in the arm. Crap time. Check where is your left arm? 20 ammo. Oh, okay. It's spread over both sides. So the awesome, the awesome is pretty defendable. Defensible. There he goes. Yep, you get some good damage with that Highlander. Some actually very good damage. And yes, buckshot. Commander. I don't know how close you can get. Well, if I go here. Oh wait. I can get in there. I can totally get in there. I wonder if I can hit you directly from there. I think I can. If I do... Wait, no. Okay. Oh, I don't like the rough terrain, though. The rough terrain is awful. But I can go right there. And then guess who gets first assault mech move next turn. Although maybe I should use it for the to get the Kraken out of there. But I can now have Buckshot in a bulwark position and shooting on his awesome. Like I said, once the awesome is in the trees, it does move very slowly to get out. So I don't know if it's worth it, but I'll probably get the second... I might get the knockdown if I can hit him with the AC-20 from there, which I don't know if I can. Um, that would get a little knockdown on him. And then, like I said, I, I wouldn't get any damage on him before he moves again. Now that... That was an awesome of the non p variety. My armor is getting ripped off. I mean a Highlander. So he, he's running a, sorry, he's running a Highlander P and a Highlander not P. Which, that was a crazy shot for an AC-10, by the way. But, uh, okay, so he's reserving down. I'm here. Kraken. Oh, oh, it's so tempting. But I'd be, I'd be hittable by them. I don't know. Uh, if I go like that, I could sit him. I could hit him so hard. Actually, real quick, what's Buckshot got? Standing by. Okay, Buckshot doesn't have the shot. So if I jump there, he gets to hit me with a lot of stuff, and he might get a knockdown on me, which would really suck. But I might. I would get a knockdown on him. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. I don't like it. It's risky. He might knock me down. But I like this. Confirmed. Oh, I didn't get the knockdown. Oh, that sucks. Okay, now he gets a whole bunch of damage onto Kraken, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, I should have jumped back and braced. Yeah, so by the way, I, I am dicking around because it's the last week of the league, but for future reference, guys, never do that. If you move it when your assault mech is the one that moves first in a match like this, never do that. Because now he gets four attacks on me. Your first move always needs to be someone with bulwark or who's out of enemy range. And now he runs away. Now he's going to turn around and try to shoot me. No, it's not. Okay, he's just counting on shooting with the others. However, she has braced. I'm here. So now Thank we can you. move Mockingbird up. And that should be the one that has bulwark. So he's probably braced. So we're going to run up here and we're going to sensor Location lock the grasshopper. Ta-da! There you go. On. Now you have to move Arclight immediately. Because if he holds still, I'll get some damage on him. And, oh! He moved... Okay, so he moved the awesome away, which means he no longer has line of sight to Kraken. Which means now he has to use a move to sensor lock. 
So he'll still get the two awesome attack or the two Highlander attacks. Although I hope at that point the freaking large or the AC10 is not in range anymore, and possibly the PPC as well, because that's a crazy long range. And then you know, like Buckshot and pretty soon Mockingbird are in. Okay. So, ooh, he landed on rough terrain. That's not good for him. That's not good at all. Right here. Standing by. Oh, I don't know my to hit chances are awful and all my sensor lockers are Standing removed. by. Hmm, I could just move forward and brace. Or I could sprint forward. <laughs> kind of like that. If I'm here, I don't know if they have line of sight. No, we'll do this. I'll try. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna I'm gonna knock away at this grasshopper. I probably okay. I won't get the knockdown and the kill on him, but I will. I might be able to force him to move. Yeah, the, there's just so much stability. He's too stable. 160 stability. But what's happening now is these these Highlanders are firing from long range. It's a cold map, so they can fire the PPCs and the LRMs forever. And they're Highlanders, so you might have noticed the Highlander P, and I think the other one too, have like three tons of LRM-20 ammo. So they never run out. They can fire forever. Um, I think you did. Hang on. I thought he sensor locked my Highlander. Maybe he did. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. So he might get a PPC shot now, just the LRM20. And then I think that's with the PPC, so the other one might just get an LRM20 shot. Yes, Commander. Oh, look at that. Moving out. Now my uh, my awesome does not have the super nice. Shoot, I should have sprinted. Yeah, my awesome doesn't have the super big ammo stores, so it actually does need to wait for better shots than that. Especially since I can't just knock him over now like I could before. I say if this were patch 1.0, I could fire and then count on making him unsteady, and then next turn obviously I would get to hit him some more. But as it is right now, um, those LRM-20s are not going to run out of ammo, but I could. Oh, and that is the PPC one, and he could hit me. That is a... You see, why is that a PPC range? We're going to add freaking... You know, we, we already know the game is, is going to get um, ER PPCs. You know, they're in the campaign. If you're going to have ER PPCs... Why do you need a regular PPC that can shoot that far? What's the ER PPC going to do? Shoot further than that? Like, games don't happen at those distances. Ready for orders. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to secure vision on the enemy. That's all we need to do. And maybe show off our right side. Now we'll just. Hmm. Now he wants to. Uh, shoot. Somewhere with vision. He might still have vision on him. Maybe here? Yeah, I think if I do that, he can't get vision on me. No. No, we're, we want to threaten him. Jumping. So yeah, we jump forward. And brace it all away. Now his apex can fire at me if he'd like, or he can just stay braced forever. He might, yeah, they, they might have an angle to shoot at Kraken again. 
But now Kraken is braced. And, uh... Been taking a fair bit of damage, but... Since I have vision, I don't need to use the sensor block. And there goes Arclight. He's going to sensor lock Kraken. They've got a lock on me. And Apex is going to try to go last here. That's what's going to happen. Yes, Commander. So what did Yes, Commander. Do? Well. Uh, he does get last move. Tragically. Commander. Ooh, that's not bad. You know, since he's forcing me. I can get the... I don't even need the missile shots. But I think I want them anyway. You know, let's Firing just start on target. Since I don't need my LRMs for the knockdown damage. There we go. Take that. So yeah, Apex is going to get the last move, but then I get the first move. So if I run my, if I bring my Atlas up with Buckshot, I think both of my other mechs are going to have to sprint up so that we can start getting some bulwarking going on. And the problem is, once I'm bulwarked out here, it's going to be really hard for me to fight those uh, those uh, Highlanders because he can just jump around and do initiative hijinks. I mean. It would be funny to say it, but they might need to run out of LRMs. <laughs> they have, what, 18 volleys of LRMs each? Oh, that'll take forever. I need to make sure he doesn't get any shots on me when I'm not braced. And, I mean, he is very focused on killing my Highlander, so after this, I can just pull the Highlander back. Now, right here. Buckshot's gonna come up and do that. And then next turn go again. So Buckshot is gonna start annihilating that uh awesome. I'm here. And Mockingbird. I think Mockingbird's gonna sprint. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, some of these maps are really not fair. I mean, look at that freaking rough terrain. Ew. But then again, Affirmative. haven't really taken any major damage. There you go. Now's your chance. You get to shoot somebody with your awesome, or I mean with your other Highlander. I don't know if that has vision. I should have checked if that awesome is going to have vision over my King Crab. But it rough terrain, it doesn't do enough. So, once I have killed the awesome, um, if he doesn't get any kills on me, which I don't think he will, I'll be damaged, but I will have both first assault mo mech move and last assault mech move. Which means I can do some terrifying initiative things. Like, that's when I can hold my mech until last, sprint up towards him, next turn, attack, and hold still, and get the bulwark. So... Even though this awesome isn't a super big damage contributor to this fight, um, like if the awesome dies and the Highlander is still alive, even if the Highlander can't fight at all, the fact of me having four mechs, it's amazing how my, my ammo store isn't getting hit. Yes, Commander. The fact of me having four while he has three will just be huge. Like, the initiative Moving stuff I can position. do with that is crazy. And it is true that if that if that grasshopper comes in, he can start doing some very mean things to me. Oh, look at that. It's time. I want to save heat. Nah, it's a cold map. I'll be fine. Affirmative. There goes that. Nice. 
side torso injured. Did I get a head hit on him earlier? I think I did. So he's at two. Now he's going to turn to face the other side towards me. Um, honestly, he's stuck. He's in a really rough place, though. He lost a PPC, he doesn't want to fire, and he can't run away. He should probably just turn and brace and just keep this mech braced forever just to make me take longer killing it. Because the awesome, if the awesome does anything other than brace, I will kill it next turn. Probably. I mean, well, okay, so he could... I get first assault mech move, so if he doesn't brace, I would get one attack on him. And then he would get to move his... He would get to be the second mech to move. And he is running. But if you do that, I'll still get your side. If you stay there, I will kill you. I will move my atlas forward and kill you if I have to. It would suck. Ooh, multi-target. He's gonna try to get something on Kraken. Ooh, LRM exposed. Now that's a bit bad. Um, I'm not worried about the torso dying just yet, but I am worried about the LRM 20 getting hit. And actually that does mean it's, it's probably time to pull back. Start facing my right side towards him. Right okay, here. moment of truth. Can I hit him? Oh crap. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Hmm. Alternately, Apex. Awaiting orders. What can Apex do? If Apex goes there. If Apex goes there, he's in danger from the enemy grasshopper. Uh, 80... Uh, 200 damage. 200 damage to this side. I think I think there's a good chance to kill him with that. Standing by. Buckshot wouldn't be braced yet, which is unfortunate. But Buckshot can survive a turn. Aye, aye. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm doing. I'm aiming straight on so that it's difficult for the grasshopper to hit my center torso if he does double move me. If Copy anything that. misses here, though, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, there it goes! I think I got him. Yes. Oh, that's Enemy probably down. game. So, here's what we have right now. He has the Grasshopper, which is extremely dangerous. He has the two Highlanders with Bulwark. Both of them can have Bulwark, which is extremely dangerous. But I have four max, and I can just pull Kraken back and brace. Since I can do that, no, 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 no. I, I can, I can do the stuff I was describing earlier. I can do right all the, the ridiculous initiative hijinks. Because guess what? My assault mech goes first. So uh, let's let's get let's get buckshot forward and out of danger. Now we are going to have to cluster our mechs, and like I say, he is going to get. A turn. We get some shots on the uh, on arc light. No, I don't think we do. I think we just keep all of our mechs together. He is able to come in with arc light and do a ton of damage to me, but he only gets to do that one time. I mean, yes, he can do the double move where he comes in, shoots me, and then gets out. But as long as I stay in a central area like this, he doesn't really have a place he can go after he attacks me the first time. Especially if I can get up here. Like, he can jump in to attack me, but then the next turn when he tries to jump away, he'll still be within vision. And since I still have four mechs, I have sensor lockers to spare. So I can threaten him quite a lot. Um, the trick is just going to be keeping Kraken and keeping Apex alive. Keeping, like, my, my assaults... Especially Buckshot. Well, Buckshot's doing pretty good for armor. He's going to have to come forward and threaten these uh, Highlanders. Because the Highlanders are still getting to fire a uh, 
a freaking LRM-20 and an AC-10 every turn. Oh, I just realized if I hadn't moved Buckshot up, he wouldn't have had vision on me, and he wouldn't have been able to shoot me until getting sensor lock. I mean, he could stay there with, and use Buck and Mockingbird and just, like, be braced. But, uh... As it is right now, though... Oh, let's see. I need to advance towards his position. And I can do some pretty crazy initiative hijinks, but he does get to shoot at me with his LR-20 every single time. And eventually it is going to add up. And you might get these freaking 1% like head, head hits on my mechs. Which is just awful. Orders. Okay. So you... Are in the habit. You are now. Your dog is just. Oh, crap. Reading you. Now your job is Moving to sprint. At full throttle. And we're gonna get so close that it doesn't even matter if he's braced. We can still just start pounding through his armor. Now the other thing to keep in mind is he has a fury shot pretty soon here. So if I leave myself vulnerable, he might. I mean, he could try to like precision shot my head there. Um, I'm in a lot more danger of him precision shotting my left torso, getting an ammo explosion. That would cause another injury on Buckshot. So this Atlas is going to have to start turning my side torso towards them, which means exposing my rear to the Grasshopper potentially. It's a very difficult situation, and I'm going to have to run up. Awesome. Awesome's going to have to sprint forward. There he goes. He's good for sensor locks, nothing else really. Oh, we got a rear gun. With what is that, an LRM 10? I'm okay LRM5. for now. Okay, crap. Standing by. What do we do with you? Well, he does he is definitely losing the You know what? Maybe I should not go after this. Maybe I should just back every behind everybody behind this cliff and go kill the grasshopper with missiles. It's a tough one. But no, I think we will go ahead, jump here and sensor block. Yeah, okay. This will Yeah, actually now, you know what I'm thinking? I have enough stuff that I could just kill the grasshopper business. I could try backing away from these Highlanders because they're he's just gonna mess around on these cliffs. And I'm not in the best position to chase him yet because Apex needs to catch up. Yeah, so let's actually, we will just bring these guys back around the cliff. Um, there he goes. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Yes, Commander. So, I do get some decent shots there. Oh, those are really nice shots. I like those shots. Hmm. Crap. Oh, you tempt me so. What's Apex doing? Commander? Here? What can Apex get? Can Apex shoot you? Yes, Apex can. I get the last movement, so he can't double move me anymore. That's the beauty of this system. He cannot double move me with his grasshopper, or he can't force it anymore, at least. Standing okay. by. Yeah, you can have my back, little grasshopper. That I'm just going to keep wailing on your strike. Highlander. My damage potential is still relatively high. And this beauty has a lot of... Oh, wait, this is the other one. Okay, so this one still... Okay, so the regular Highlander, the one without the P, 
um, does not have the arm mounted ammunition stores. Okay, so he's using Mockingbird as his eyes. Yes, Commander. My Mockingbird could hit you pretty hard before you jump away, because he that's what he's going to do. Or I could sensor lock the Grasshopper. I'm here. Now, Mockingbird has a whole lot less ammo for these things than the others do. Reading you. Hmm, tough call. Yes, Commander. You know, I think I'm inclined to do it, though. Hmm, tough, tough choices. I think we like Mockingbird in this forward position, though. Because Mockingbird can sensor lock anybody once she's in place. Ten four. I don't know, I don't think I, I physics block buckshot. So you see here, he can jump in, but I can still, I can move Kraken after his grasshopper moves. He would then get a shot at Kraken, which has a decent chance of blowing up this. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not so bad. I am totally okay with that. I was really, really afraid that called shot would be used to kill off my Atlas side torso. But that is totally okay with me, yes, guys. Commander. You know what? You just, you do you. Roger that. And now you're here for another round. Yes, you're braced, but bracing isn't everything. Also, you'll notice the Highlander is loaded with ammunition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ammunition on this mech. And so all I really need to do is expose that torso and my LRM fire will start doing damage. Okay, there's the Grasshopper move. Trying for the rear shot on the Awesome. However, he used up his precision shot, so he doesn't get that. I think, I think Apex, oh, he didn't even get a rear hit either, but he might next turn. But quite frankly, if it's not, I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. if it's not rear damage or precision shot to the center torso, what I'm not afraid of it. And guess who gets, oh, I can't shoot you anything else. He's hurting my left torso. Now I'm pretty sure he doesn't get vision of me here, which means if he wants vision, he still has to sensor lock me. Locking on target. Oh, did I hit it? I might have. Yep. His torsos are going down. And pretty soon I'm gonna have my fury shot. Okay, so, now he gets to do his nasty. And if he does, I might straight up turn these mechs around and go kill that grasshopper. Although more likely I would probably move Apex forward and brace. Because, like I say, he used up the super, super scary precision shot. The precision shot that allows Arclight to kill an awesome with one attack. All you do is you jump in, you fire at the rear torso, you use a precision shot on the center torso, you only have to deal 95 damage and then your LRMs or whatever, you know, whatever you have left will blow up the ammo. Oh, he's reserving. Okay, he's going for it. Well, you can have that shot on Apex if you really want it. Yes, 
Commander. I will be taking this glorious shot. In fact, I will be turning all the way around and taking this glorious shot. Copy that. And missiles, missiles at the end. Ah, no ammo. Reporting critical hit. I guess technically the LRM-20 takes up like four slots. Man, oh, if that had... The chances of that being an ammo hit, though, were so high. I think he's probably going to jump away Mockingbird. But once he does, he doesn't have vision of me anymore, which means I can... If he jumps away Mockingbird, I can just turn around and attack the Grasshopper. So it's, it's interesting how one mech can really kill a team. You know, in that other match we saw, it was the victor. I was able to knock the victor out of the running so quickly that it allowed me to focus my firepower on his other mechs. In this one, it was the awesome Q. Um, he just, he moved forward too far, and I was able to trap him and kill him in these woods. Yep, Mockingbird jumps back, and it's going to sensor lock somebody. Or stay in sight. I was not expecting that he'd still be in vision. Sadly, I've already used that sensor lock. But, uh, Buckshot can use another 20 on that. And at this point, I'm not even worried about dealing damage to him. I don't need to deal damage to him. Through Brace, I just need to hit him with LRMs of any kind. Right here. Because you know what happens. Standing by. I, like, all I have to do is hit him with a couple LRMs. Oh, he did show off his side torso. Or he's showing off his right side now. So... Yes, Commander. That's a little bit tricky. But he's also not firing on my uh, Atlas. Mm. Tragically, I can't get a front torso shot. Can I crack Commander. him? No. So that was very clever of him. I'm feeling Apex. What can Awaiting Apex do order. Here? Apex can do some damage. More importantly, get further away. Oh yeah, I like that. I like Rock that a lot. That. You can have my back, dude. I know you'll do a ton of damage and you might kill me in one shot. But I will get an ammo explosion on you eventually. He's unsteady. I might get a knockdown on him because he's already moved. Yeah, he's probably going to do a lot of damage to, uh, to Apex. And it's sad, but there's no way around that. But if he doesn't kill Apex immediately, like if he doesn't one-shot her, uh, then I'll be fine. There's your attack. Make it count. So now at this point... Oh! Okay. That's fair. That's... <laughs> we are all gonna die. Okay, that was a really good shot. That's very interesting. He did go for the rear, and he almost got that really nasty ammo explosion. I'm here. But guess what I can do now? I'm gonna get a couple different shots on him. Engaging jump jets. Now I could sensor lock here, but I think I'll just fire everything. since you want to increase the chances of the other weapons hitting. Nah, PC's nice. You see, otherwise, normally I would be able to knock him unsteady, and that would make him lose his evasion. But I can't do that right now. Oh, yeah, I won't 
do very well if he hits me again from the rear. His chances of getting a, an ammo explosion on my LRM and SRM ammo are pretty high. Man, that's a tough choice. What do you guys think? Should I... So if I hit him, if I hit Mockingbird, I have a very good chance of doing a ton of ammo damage and possibly knocking him over. But if I turn around, man, I should have ignored it. I'm sorry. I should have used Kraken to fire on that one. Indicator shows minimal because damage. if I can get an ammo explosion on him, well, it would be a right person. Right here. So if I do that, I could do some decent damage to him. The problem is those guys would get a rear shot on me. Ooh, that's nice. It's not bad. On my way. Yeah, you'll just have to get killed another day. You'll probably get all your all your uh, stability damage back, which is frustrating, but. Oh, that AC-20 miss! He's reserving down? Really? You really want to go that way? You know, I get to shoot at your at Mockingbird or something. Or just braced buckshot again. And then Oh, okay, no, he's he's abandoning the grasshopper. He might get a, a ton of damage on me. I'm gonna die. What did he get? What did he get? Uh okay, so he has abandoned the grasshopper. Standing by. And since he has abandoned his grasshopper, this is what happens. I'd rather you work it, but critical hit, Commander. Now, shouldn't I get bored? So I didn't get Bulwark, so he might still do some fair damage to me, but honestly he didn't, he still has a bit of am or armor to chew through if he wants those hits. Like if he got a PPC hit that landed on my torso, I would be screwed. Oh wait, no, it's my left torso, never mind, I'm under no danger. My Atlas will be totally fine, there's nothing he can do. He has spent his arc light. So right now, Arclight is giving him vision of my mechs, which means he can fire without needing a sensor lock. And yes, he does get to do that, which braces him. Gets some pretty heavy damage on my Atlas. And makes me unsteady, so he might knock down Buckshot. Oh boy, heavy hit there. Which is bad. You see, if we were playing in a previous patch, he would get that knocked down immediately. Okay, guys. Oh, that's funny. The center torso isn't easier to hit than the, the leg. Hmm. Uh, what's better, 30 or 70? Now, that's very interesting. That's 100, but that's... Wait. I can precision strike him. I think I'm gonna... No, it's not worth it. Go! Oh, 85% miss! Oh, 
Ooh, this is tricky. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to knock down my Atlas. Buckshot will take a point of damage. Um, then, on our next turn, he will get the first move because I'll have killed off Arclight. But... Okay, so here's what's happening right now. He's going to get the knockdown. I'm going to kill Arclight. He'll have the, the first move next turn, but he won't have vision of the Atlas. But if, he, if he's able to jump forward far enough to get vision of the Atlas, then he gets to shoot it while it's down, and he can probably blow off my one of my side torsos, either the one full of ammo or the one with low health, and that will kill Buck, uh, Buckshot. Reading you. Standing by. So he, I think he has succeeded in, aye, aye. Uh, in killing Buckshot. Affirmative. Which is sad. I wanted this to be perfect. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it Target didn't die! Critical hit. Oh my goodness, why? Well then, okay. So I'm now, uh, the only difference is I have to expose Mockingbird to some fire. So we're going to go here. We're going to turn sharply. Um, you know, it's not the left torso, so you'll be fine. Still frustrating. I don't want to use my ammo. But I'm afraid if I miss. Oh, that's, that's rough. If I miss, he gets back up and does a lot of damage to me because none of his weapons are injured. Fine. Okay, I think it died. I'm honestly, the LRM-15 probably would have killed it, uh, but I could not run that chance. And honestly, I don't need my King Crab ammo that much anymore. Okay, here's the here's the clincher. If he can jump forward, get vision on me, and deal enough damage to kill my torso, then Buckshot will die. And I think he can do it. I think if he's smart, he'll call the left torso. Well, either one actually. Yeah, it it's it's mm, it's whether the PPC hits it. It's whether the PPC hits it. It missed. It missed. Ah, uh, oh, Battletech. Yes, Commander. Oh, Battletech. I'm up. What do you think? Should I try to fight? Or just let the others handle it? I think I'm just going to let the others handle it. Okay, so here's... It's it's not over yet though. So I move over here. I missile him. Um he still gets the first assault neck move next turn. Although I can do a ton of damage to him. If he gets a rear shot on me, I will also die, which might not have been the smartest. Here we go. And he I don't know if he's in range to sensor lock me, so we'll see. I have to do I have to do a lot of damage very quickly because I'm still in danger over here. And especially without being braced. He could still hit me with LRM twenties. I mean he can guarantee an LRM twenty shot if he sensor locks Oh no, he'd have to sensor lock me next turn and then I'd get a chance to brace. 
It's all very complicated stuff. He'll probably take a shot at the king crab. He might have another fury shot now, which would be quite dangerous. Now you, my friend, are a Highlander P, and you have a lot of ammo in your left arm. So I'm just going to turn and whack him. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I'm losing armor bad. Okay. Commander. It begins with Apex. Moving out. Oh, that isn't your side door, so that's your center. Still there. Uh, let's locked. save the precision shot. Maybe I'll precision shot with Mockingbird. I don't know what I would shoot at right now. I guess because even if my ammo Out explode on one side, the other side, like all the LRM ammo wouldn't be gone immediately. I guess I can just keep on shooting with what I have. And just see what gets vulnerable. Honestly, that Atlas has quite a lot of firepower that I do want to bring to the fight. It's just really dangerous to do so. Okay, where are we getting hits? Ooh, we're getting center torso hits. I could just go straight for the jugular. Yes, Commander. Ooh, somebody's getting pretty damaged too. Oh, gorgeous. Mwah. So I still have quite a lot of damage to... Uh... I still have quite a lot of damage to salt mix over here. Watch my heat! Ha, ha, ha. What did I do, hit the arm? I think I did. Did not get the center torso AC 20 shots I wanted. And the thing is, even though I've been dealing damage to him, I haven't reduced his firepower at all. So if Wildfire stays there, Wildfire will brace, and I might still be able to knock her down. Even with the, you know, half stability damage and everything. Then again, Mockingbird is also vulnerable, but I didn't have a chance to really afford an attack. Oh, you're going for it, man. You are trying to get that Atlas kill. At this point, <laughs> funny enough, at this point the Highlander is like, well, the, the Awesome is really nice, but other than the Awesome, the Highlander is my second highest health knock. That might be a torso. Oh, Buckshot's down. I should have braced. That hurts a lot. However, he is hot and he's unstable, so I'm I'm just gonna yes, knock commander. him over now. I'm out of LRM ammo. Oh, crap. I call me. Okay, well, I think we're going to kill Wildfire, which is nice. I don't think we've gotten any pilot hits so far, but man, that side torso hit really sucks. And now Apex is out of missiles, so Apex is just a walking hunk of armor with some large lasers. So it's actually... that was not so good for me. I really should have braced that Atlas and, and counted on him living as long as possible. He was kind of in the same position as the enemy Apex was earlier, where, like, it wasn't about dealing damage. It was about just staying alive for a turn longer to force the enemy to come after him. So yeah, I should have burst. 
or even sprint it, like seeing how far I could sprint away. And Mockingbird being super hot, although that's my own fault for losing, using the large laser on Mockingbird. I think Mockingbird gets a pair of AC-20 shots, called shots now. And then once that Highlander is dead, the other Highlander can kite me pretty far now that my awesome is kind of out of the fight. Okay, you're gonna fire on him. Try to get lucky with that PPC. Oh, you might have a second Fury shot. Oh, he might be able to knock out that PPC. I mean that LRM20 and the arm, which would reduce my knock, which would mean I can't knock stuff over anymore. You need to, oh, you need to get hit by missiles and all my missiles are getting blown off with Apex and Buckshot. So I can't get my ammo explosions on you that I want. And Mockingbird doesn't have called or doesn't have multi-target. Oh, no, it's a brace instead. I'm well here. Then. Hello there. No, this is like the last of my AC-20 shots. That, that, that was what I needed. Double kill. Standing by. Now, ironically, Apex is also missing the number one disadvantage of the awesome 8T, which is the center Confirm. torso ammo. The center torso ammo is all depleted, so I'm not afraid anymore. So Apex is basically just going to run towards Mockingbird forever now. Just, just keep running towards her every single turn, because there, there isn't enough firepower on the enemy team to kill Apex. And honestly, there isn't that much to kill the others either. I'm just kind of afraid of ammo explosions. Oh yeah, the LRM20 got hit, so he does have reduced accuracy with it. And that's the problem. Even though he jumped forward and braced, he still has to go again immediately. So when you're when the enemy has a mech advantage in numbers, it's just really hard. The ability to do initiative tricks goes out the window, and there is your last is your fury shot. You might get an ammo explosion. Commander! Oh, a head I hit. hit! A head hit? Okay, that was only number two. Oh man, don't scare me like that, dude. Reading you. I'm here. Uh. I wonder. Oh, that's right. Mockingbird is braced now. Mockingbird's basically braced yes, forever. Commander. But that's okay. I don't care about doing damage to you. I just care about ammo explosions. It'll happen eventually. Now, Mockingbird. Uh, let's see. Do you have ammo there? You do it. And now we just shoot forever. Actually, let's hold off on that. Let's just get those LRM in there to get some ammo explosions. Oh, he got the empty one. Scored a critical hit. <laughs> so many ammo bins. I'm here. Engaging jump jet. Okay, so you can have ammo get blown up without it, you know, exploding. A copy. Come on, SRM ammo. There we go. Take that. 
There we go. I mean, he apparently was out of LRM20 ammo anyway, but now he doesn't have the SRM6, so it's harder for him to get ammo hits. And he can't really escape, because if he jumps away, I just chase him down and he doesn't get to shoot back. So this match is going to end without anything else on my side dying. Good game overall. I did get a good uh, hit when I meleeed him and blew off his leg on the grasshopper, but I would have gotten it anyway. Even I'm without the leg, I could have just meleeed it until it did fall over. Commander? Maybe I shouldn't get too close and take in case he tries to death from above me and get a head hit. We'll go. I just realized that's totally a thing he could do. Yeah, he's gonna try to death from above Apex and just hope for a random kill. Which would yes, be bad. Yes, Commander. Engaging target. Ready for orders. Confirm. But I mean, pretty soon he'll be dying anyway. In fact, I might even, uh... Yeah, run my PPC so I can make the accuracy kind of game. His last move. Crap, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. He'll just death from above Apex and hope for the kill. It's not a very high chance, but he could get a head hit. <laughs> Ow! Internal structure damage. Okay. Reading you. Mockingbird, do the honors. Taking the Execute shot. him. Yeah, man, if I had had ammo left, that could have been an explosion. <laughs> So, don't get too close Multiple to a Highlander, guys, even if no you have a small ammo. laser you want to shoot. So, that was a good match overall. Um, I don't think he was expecting me to bring the four assaults. But you can see how, like, it would have been a very different game. I had I was considering bringing a Jaeger mech. But if I had, um, you know, if he has a, a mech moving in Initiative 3 and I have a mech moving in Initiative 2, that actually gives him the ability to control which assault mech moves first because if he reserves his if he reserves his mech then let's see he can force me to go first but if he moves with his first mech with his grasshopper then he gets to go first so i did not want to go i did not want to give him you know uh 3111 and have me be 2111 that would have been really dangerous for me so i had to bring the awesome along and just make it 4 to guarantee the first assault mech move, and that did come into play quite a lot. I lost the Atlas. I should have braced it that one turn. I don't know if it would have saved me, but I think it would have. But, you know, uh, live and learn. And I did kill three enemies, so we'll see what salvage I get. And I've learned a lot. Um, honestly, the, new, the, the Atlas and the King Crab have gotten way better um, now that they can't be knocked down nearly as easily. I think it gives them a bit of a, uh, an answer to the Highlander. I mean, the Highlander is still amazing, but the Highlander, it also has the, the PPC and the SRMs and the LRMs. It's very good at knocking down mechs. So I feel like this buff has helped out the Atlas and the King Crab a little bit better than it has the Highlander. And then some of them, like the awesome, like its missiles have been horribly nerfed, but its lasers have been buffed. So it's kind of even. But for now, this is Triptych signing off.